Hey all, I uh, wanted to break down my process for getting clean loops in Reaper. This can be really effective, and while there is very rare source audio that will still present clicks when using this method, it seems to work perfectly 95% of the time, and for that remaining 5% it just takes a bit of fiddling to make it work. So to start out, I usually try to get a rough estimate of where in the item it will sound best to loop by setting my time selection and making sure looping is turned on in the transport. Once I find something I like, it's time to go in and find the exact cut points. To do this, I'll put the cursor around where the end of the time selection is, and using a keyboard shortcut for the action move edit cursor to next zero crossing in items, or move edit cursor to previous zero crossing in items, which I have set to Z and shift Z respectively, I'll try to find a good place to make this cut. Then once I've made that cut, I'll go to the start of the time selection and do the same process. To be extra diligent, I'll look for a place where there is a zero crossing that is also headed in the same direction as the other cut, which in this case was going down. So once I find that, I'll make the cut and then delete those cut items. Now I'll find one more place to cut, usually close to the start, although it can really be anywhere. But we need to make sure that this is also at a zero crossing. So once I find one, I'll make this cut. And the reason for making this last one is so where the audio actually loops back onto itself is a point at which the audio is actually continuous. So we'll take this item and place it all the way to the right, that way it's looping to where the audio file would have already been playing back had we not moved it, if that makes sense. So to make sure these butt up next to each other cleanly, I use the action close gaps, remove space between selected items, which I have mapped to a keyboard shortcut. Then we can crossfade these to make that a bit smoother and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more of my Reaper and game audio workflows to come. Cheers.